So sometimes God changes our plans with his, and this is one such occasion. My plans were to go on a brief writing sabbatical and get uh, a lot of prayer and study done so that I could preach in new series, uh, several new series, and, and prepare for camps and all kinds of stuff. But, um, and I was supposed to leave today. But last night, yesterday, my wife's grandmother had a stroke and she's not doing well. So we packed up the van and we're driving to Tennessee and it's a brand new adventure and I don't know how I'm going to film from there. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't have lighting, uh, lighting. Uh, so who knows? We'll just do our best. So stay tuned. I'm going to vlog the trip. Here we go. Here we go. To that. <laughs> so we do have to stop at the church building. I have to stop in my office and get books. And here's why. Because while on the road, even though I'm not sabbatical, if possible, I'm going to try to work on some uh, new material. And oh, I don't want to tip what I'm doing. I don't want to, I don't want to give it away. Um, but I have a book of the Bible that we're going to preach through, through the eyes of Ed and, <clears throat> and next year's Calvary Kids Wednesdays. So here we go. Conversations with the Chapmans. <laughs> baby C, baby C, baby C. So we made it. We ended up doing the full 14 hour drive in one day uh, with all seven of us van packed full of stuff it's super late but we made it we're glad to be here and um more tomorrow well hello there coops hi cooper hi coops come on cooper come on come on. hi 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 coops So we're going to take you guys on a walk around Bell Buckle, Tennessee. So this is where I lived about 17 years ago when Karen and I were first married. In that place right behind me there. And over my left shoulder, on your right side, are three Johnny Come Latelys. Baby C, The Goose, and Joel. What took you so long? What took you so long? Yeah, we were looking for you. We went the other way. It's you. All the way back to her. Something I noticed about Bell Buckle is that a lot of the houses are really unique.
So this is a little town like population 400, but uh, once a year they have something called a craft fair. When the craft fair comes, there's something crazy like 100,000 people that come into this tiny town. And that field is some of where they set up and they set up on this street and it's crazy. So the Ten Commandments on this uh, church building over my right shoulder on your left side, my father-in-law did that. And here's the super tiny post office. This is the downtown area, it's super cool. So we just walked in a big square, uh, which is the town of Bellwuckle. And it was about one mile to make the, the full loop. And we're back uh, to the Robinson's house again. Guys, this is so crazy. I found my old accordion. I didn't even remember I had this one. I remember I had an old, like, junky one. But near the end of college, my mom got me a new one, and it's super nice. And I've been wanting to play accordion again. I even looked online to see how much an accordion is, and they're really expensive. So I'm so thankful I found this. I'm going to start practicing again. 